The new Storyboard Suite 3.2 offers an improved workflow that helps users develop their application quickly and with ease using refined features and new features that have been added. Some applications can be packed with content, so being able to create and edit variations of tables, lists, menus, and more can be a major component of a project. Now with just a few steps, users can create a scrolling list without writing code. Creating a scrolling table is simple. Use the custom table wizard to set the table and cell dimensions, as well as including which render extensions you'd like to use. When that's finished, you're ready to start adding content. From the table's properties view, users can select the tab for scrolling and choose features that enable scrolling, support gestures, select the orientation for horizontal or vertical scrolling, and other properties too. After populating a table, whether it's a menu, a list, or a photo viewer, you can test it out in the simulator, or export the application to a device, like a tablet. As an application develops, it's better understood how the user interface should look and behave. Now Storyboard supports a change-friendly solution to modifying the look of an application with the Photoshop Reimport feature. With the reimport feature, users can make revisions to their designs in Photoshop and reimport them into their project. In the reimport window, Storyboard compares any image from Photoshop with the same name as images in their application that look different. They can select which images they want to use to update the look of their design and are given a live update on how the application will look based on their selections. Images can overwrite existing ones, or a copy of the last set of imported images can be kept. Make revisions to your design as development moves forward with the Photoshop Reimport feature. Give a 3D feel to a 2D object by taking advantage of editable OpenGL attributes. In a Controls Advanced Properties view, users can rotate content along the X, Y, and Z axes of a 2D object. The normal view of an object is when it's seen at zero degrees. Applying a 90 degree rotation to the same object can hide it in plain sight. It's easy to use and can add an impressive look to a project. The application view in Storyboard lets the developer see content that will be shown on screen in their application. Now with the screen editor view, users are also able to see and edit content that is off screen. If an application uses a feature like a flyout menu or includes images that come and go during an animation, the screen editor feature is the tool to use. Being able to edit these components and visualize them at the same time will help developers control how they look and how they'll feel while fine tuning their work. If your application uses a 3D model, now you can use the 3D edit mode to adjust the location of your model with a drag and drop rather than entering the values for the X, Y, and Z locations. Click the control for a 3D model to edit the control, or if you click a second time, a model orientation arrow will appear, letting users know that they can change the position of a 3D object with the drag and drop. By holding the X, Y, or Z key on your keyboard while dragging the model, the change in location will only occur along the respective X, Y, and Z axes, which makes editing in a 3D environment simple and convenient. With the Record Animation and Animation Timeline feature, applications are brought to life. Now with added features, creating and editing animations is even easier. One feature includes animation scaling. Testing and previewing an animation is an important process in order to get the right look. With the Animation Scaling feature, you can adjust the duration of an animation in milliseconds or by percentage, instead of changing the value of every animation step. So an animation will run faster by changing it to be 75% of the original duration. Or, if you want to watch an animation in slow motion, you can add more time to the duration and observe how each step is being carried out during runtime. Another great animation tool is creating reverse animation. If an animation is used to make content appear in your application, you could use the Create Reverse Animation feature that would make the content disappear. Anything that fades in would fade out, and anything that slid to the right would slide to the left. The Reverse Animation feature carries out the same steps in the opposite direction, and is much faster than creating a new animation or editing a copy of an existing animation. The new Storyboard Suite enables users to design and edit the applications that they want to build. With improved and new features, as well as refining how users interact with Storyboard, great applications are ready to be made. Create great content, develop and refine your ideas, and do it in less time with Storyboard Suite 3.2. Go to cranksoftware.com to try out the free 30-day eval.